Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my March favorites. We are already a few days into April, so I figured I'd hit you guys with a favorites video. Um, I've got a couple products to talk about, makeup wise, and then some fashion pieces, and then I do have a couple of disappointments. So I think I want to call these favorites my yay or nay videos. Just like a thought. Let me know what you think. Leave my comment down below. Um, okay, so up first, let's talk about some makeup products that I have been really loving. I have talked about both of these before. You've seen me use them. But what I've been loving is the combination of the two of them. So I'm talking about the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation in shade 10 and the Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick in Y225. Yes. So I use this one first, and then I go in with this. This is... Um, I really love the formula of it. Right now it's not the perfect shade for me. It's just a little bit too pinky, uh, where this will then, I'll go over top of it. This is super lightweight. It doesn't make my makeup cakey or anything, but this adds a little bit more of the yellow tone into it, and I have not been able to find the perfect shade of the HD Foundation Stick that incorporates the two things. So I've been using this as a combination, and I have been really loving it. Now to set that, I have been using the Cover FX Light Translucent Setting Powder. This is in the shade, is it, what is this called? Illuminating Setting Powder, okay. This is what it looks like. This is just the, like, baby version of it. Um, my Sephora and my JCPenney's and my mall that I work at was out of the full size ones and this was all I could get my hands on and I heard everybody raving about it last month. I had to try it. So, I mean, I got the little tiny one. You do get a decent amount of product. I've been using it every single day this month and I'm not even halfway out of it. I love this. It doesn't get cakey on my face. It doesn't make anything crease. I normally struggle with my areas right around my mouth and then in my nose, like the crevice of my nose. Um, they usually crease and collect makeup and that's where I typically get like a build up but this setting powder has been allowing my makeup to lay pretty flawlessly so I'm really jazzed about that. When it comes to contour shades I have been using what is this? This is Makeup Geek's Love Triangle. I bought this when Makeup Geek, so I was notified by Trend Mood 1, if you follow them on Instagram, they always have like the deets on makeup um, releases and uh, restocks, things like that. They were saying how um, Makeup Geek was having like a sale on damaged product, and this was one of them. Normally they're like 10 bucks, I got it for three, so that was pretty great. But I've really been loving using that as like a bronzer slash contour shade. Um, let's see what else. Oh, my favorite lipstick of this past month. I have been loving. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow. Love it so much. It's so pretty. It's like a really nice, like, mauve rose color. So beautiful. Gosh, we're speeding through these. Um, did anybody else, like, notice how nobody ever talks about Bite Beauty, like, their lip products? And three beauty influencers this month talked about them they don't ever talk about them and then all of a sudden they're like oh yes this is like a holy grail og like no tea no shade though um the last makeup product favorite that i've been really loving is actually this setting spray from wet n wild it is the photo focus um all day wear so <laughs> Love that. Yeah, it's just been laying really nice on my makeup. My makeup doesn't slide around as much. Um, I bought that because I was out of Urban Decay's all-nighter and uh, didn't have any money. So this was like $4. Got that instead so of spending like $38. It's been working out great. You do obviously get like a lot less product, but I've been enjoying it. It smells nice. Total thumbs up. So for uh, you guys, this is not a new product, but I haven't ever talked about this on my channel before, and it really is one of my favorite scents at this moment. This is the Michael Kors Midnight Shimmer Perfume. Guys! Oh my god, it just smells so good. It's like fruity, but not like overly fruity. <sighs> I don't like perfumes that smell overly citrusy or florally. I like them to smell a little bit more neutral, a little bit more musky. 
Gosh, this is a good one. Get into an Ulta or Sephora and take a whiff. So fashion wins for me this month. One has been this lovely camo jacket, courtesy of Maurice's. This is so great. I've adorned it with some Every Time I Die pins, favorite band, shout out. Um, and I have some pins for, for them, so I have them on here. I really love this jacket. It fits really well. If you are a plus size girl or guy, and you are looking for like a really nice fitted camo jacket, I'm definitely going to link it down below because this has been, I, I wear it at least three times a week. I love it so much. Two other fashion products that I have been loving because I've been looking to kind of cash up my wardrobe a little bit, um, just kind of going along with this jacket theme. So I was looking for some sneakers and <laughs> sneakers. Um, I follow along and love, you guys know I've talked about her before, um, Young Wild and Polished. And she posted on her Instagram these sneakers that I was uh, coveting for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then I finally had a couple extra bills. And I went and I got them. You guys, check these out. These are some man skate high tops. Love them so much. They're in the shade Fawn. I got mine from Zoomies and I will link them down below. They run about normal size. A little bit bigger. Like I got them in, sh what did I get? I got them in 10. And that's what I normally get them in. So these are like legit. The other sneaker that I have been wearing, now these came in a fawn color, but they were like sold out and I did not want to have to, excuse me, I did not want to have to order them even though I'm still, I think about them, I dream about them, I'm still probably going to order them, I love them. But these are the Adidas Gazelles in the shade Mint, you guys, they're suede. I love them. They're beautiful. They're already getting dirty. I'm sad. But they're super cute. Mint. They come in fawn. They come in like a bunch of different colors. So cute. Go get them. Guys, let's talk about Monet's. All right. I got some things that I didn't care for this past month. One being, it's a piece I sort of alluded to in last month's um, hits and not hits. But this is, I'm so bummed because the packaging is so beautiful and like this is something I would just set on my vanity because it's really cute. This is the Flower Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, packaging so cute. Rose gold come through. Love it. Guys, this is so bad. Like the flash back that this puts on your face is a flashback of nightmares. My setting spray didn't even like meld it into my face it sat weird it feels weird I was so bummed it's not it's not cheap it was like what was this like $18 maybe I, I think I might have just lied um it's more than 10 okay and yeah it just sat really weird and it was really patchy all over my face it honestly looked like I had just dunked my head into like a bowl of white powder it wasn't cute so I don't, I don't suggest getting that. Don't be lured by the really cute packaging because this is, that's a total fail. My next one is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Guys, I hate this. This does nothing for my eyelashes. Like, it does nothing. I am so much further prefer, but I <laughs> prefer the Tarte Man Eater. But I wanted to try it because, like, it's makeup by Shayla and Manny anyways, like, promo thing I don't like it I don't I don't like it I've used it a couple times like it's like this is weird do you see this like what's just it's weird it makes my eyelashes really separated but not in like a good way it makes them look really thin this one no my last product I can't believe I have three things I hated this month I was so bummed I've been waiting for my targets pixie section to get this highlight in for since it came out since I saw it on a bunch of um, influencers social media but this is the pixie glowy powder in London luster this is basically a setting powder there is there's not much glowy about this I don't want to say there's nothing glowy about it oi like this is setting powder do you see that there is no shimmer to this there is what even is that like no 
And this is seven. This is seventeen dollars. You want to label something glowy and it be literal trash? No thanks. This says, I can't live without a highlighter. I use it as a finishing touch for all my looks. No kidding, who doesn't? Aspen's passions are travel, beauty, and fashion. She has a keen aesthetic eye and loves to share her lifestyle with her community. Her beauty style is fresh and radiant. She loves glowy powders more than anything. Then why did you create this, girl? This velvety soft highlighter adds a hint of glow, no glow, creating a luminous effect, no luminous effect. Natural mineral powder hydrates and reflects light to brighten complexion. Created by Aspen for all skin tones. What? Girl, no. I am fair and this is almost too light. Nobody that even has the hint of a tan is going to be able to wear this because it doesn't blend out. Is it velvety? Heck yeah it is. This is a great setting powder for somebody who is translucent. Okay, and that's it. You're not getting anything highlighted out of this. Don't even think about glowing to any god because it's not going to happen with this. Don't buy this. Don't. I mean, you do you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Anyways, <laughs> this is, that's it for this episode of the Beauty Tour. I hope that it was helpful in um, suggestions for you guys to purchase things or things to avoid. I hope that you get out of these videos what I hope that you would get out of these videos because I enjoy making them. I enjoy sharing my knowledge with you and I hope you appreciate it. Well, you guys, that's it for this episode of the Beauty Tour. I will catch you guys next time in another episode. Bye! Am I? Oh, also, this teacup, Sarq. This is from TJ Maxx. <coughs> oh, home goods. I don't know. Bye.